happening is Darian Gray, the mouth of the South. And one of the things I read this week was the worst thing the Falcons ever did was convince us that they could be good. Funny, one of the funniest things I saw all weekend. So I posed the question. And I want to see if I can get more Falcon fans in my comment section with this question that y'all had at the game. Shouldn't be that hard. But is it time for Dan Quinn to go? Welcome to Point Blank, like period. You can sleep when you die. Point Blank, period. So, first and foremost, Dan Quinn had the highest odds before the year to be the first coach fired. If you're a gambling man, a 1-3 and star ain't cooled in his seat off a bit. I'm going to sit on a cool seat right now. It's pretty comfortable. I can guarantee you that Dan Quinn is the definition of uncomfortable right now. So, I've heard that the first half is about game plans. The second half is about adjustments. So, why the, the Falcons haven't been able to have any good game plans besides the Eagles game? This year in total, they have been outscored 71-20 to 20 in the first half. Every team that was not the Philadelphia Eagles has been able to dominate the first half and cruise to victory in the second. So we thought Mark Mariota might be benched for Ryan Tannehill. Now, y'all done earned him an extra 12 games. He's going to finish the season now off the strength of whooping up on the Falcons in the first half. I, I look at it and I say, what is going on here? One of the most talented offenses on paper ain't been able to score. Ill-timed turnovers. Dan Quinn, you made your bones. You, you fired every single coordinator and you said you're going to be the defensive coordinator this year. So your OC gone, you put Cutter, we're not going to get to that. If you want to see my thoughts about that, click below. But you fired your DC and now you're the defensive coordinator. You didn't cleared everybody out the way, buddy. It's time to only aim it at you. And the next man down will be you, Danny boy. There's no more excuses. Jim Mora back a little bit, a little history. I love history because it's going to repeat itself. You can look at trends. Jim Mora made, made, made the playoffs. Two years later, didn't make the playoffs, he was gone. Those are only three years. Petrino, he left. We're going to excuse that. Then came Mike Smith. Mike Smith had a, had a similar string of playoff appearances. Made to the conference championship. Two years not making the playoffs. He was gone. Now we get to Dan Quinn. Yes, he brought them to a Super Bowl, but 28-3 did happen. It wasn't a Super Bowl victory. And now this looks like it could be two years without a playoff. It's time to tell him to hit the road, Jack. And don't come back no more. No more, no more. <laughs> oh, man. So I put it like this. It's time. There's no more excuses. You can no longer underachieve. You took you took responsibility for the defense, and they're not playing well. So now if you were a defensive coordinator, you'd be cut. It's time to go. Same thing for a coach. It's time to fire Dan Quinn. Quinn Blake here.